Hi, I'm not an alien. This is a mask for doing fit tests for uh, KN95 respirators as well as N95 respirators. I've been asked to do a fit test on some KN95 respirators purchased by a company in the area here. I'm going to do the fit test and see how it works out. Hopefully it'll pass. But at the very least, stick around because this is going to be fun. You'll get some enjoyment out of this. Hi. I'm Alan. If you've seen my videos before, you've seen me talking about different masks that are available to hospital staff and different uh, masks that are available to the general public as well. Uh, I've mentioned how we want to leave the hospital masks for the people in the hospitals because they're particularly special masks and they require fit tests. Now I'm doing this video right now because I've been asked to test some masks. I mentioned before that the N95 masks are fitted, they're, they're not one size fits all but a company that I know of has received some one-size-fits-all N95 masks. I told them that I would test them and see if they actually do work. This is not going to be a scientific test. I'm going to be testing it on myself. I'm also going to be testing it on my wife, Shelly, who, if you've seen the other videos, you've seen her, uh, and as well as my daughter. Uh, they've both volunteered. Actually, I've all told them. Uh, so we're going to do a couple of fit tests. Now, you probably noticed that I haven't shaved. This is for a particular reason. These masks are fitted and they also need to be up against the skin. So if somebody has a beard, if they haven't even shaved for a day, that five o'clock shadow can stop the mask from working. I'm gonna demonstrate that. I'm going to do a fit test on a mask that I know is my size. I'm gonna do this fit test on myself. Uh, I'm gonna do it with the beard and then I'm gonna shave. Once I've shaved, I'm going to grab another mask and I'm do it, going to do it again. That mask, the last time I uh, fitted myself for it, it was perfectly fine. We're going to see if it works. Okay, so let's give that a shot. Okay, now I'm going to show you a couple of things that I have here. First of all, I have a solution. This solution is called a sensitivity solution. This is so that I can find out if people are able to taste this particular uh, chemical that I'm using. Uh, the idea is if they can taste it, that's great. I can do the test with this solution. The other solution that I have is the test solution. This is a lot stronger. So that means that when I use this, I'm going to uh, put this inside a hood while they're wearing the mask. And if they can taste it, the mask has failed. If they can't taste it, then the mask has succeeded. So what I'm gonna do right now, I already know that I'm sensitive to this stuff, I can taste it. So I'm going to go straight to the uh, solution that is the strongest, it's the test solution. So I'm gonna put the mask on. Now this is my size, I know this. So, I said in a previous video, once you put the mask on, uh, even if it's your size, you need to blow out to make sure you can't feel any air. Now, when I blow out, I actually can't feel any air, so I've got a pretty good seal. So, I'm going to put the hood on. You're not going to hear any talking for a few minutes, but what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start doing the test. If I can taste it, I'm going to stop the test. If I can't taste it, I'm going to continue on and finish off the entire test. And if it passes with the beard, great.
We failed. Okay, now I've shaved. Made my wife happy. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to retest the mask again. I'm going to use a different mask because these are one-use masks. When you take it off, you have pretty much destroyed the seal uh, of the mask. So I've got a new mask. I'm going to tr put that on. I'm going to get my daughter to give me a hand with this. So she's going to actually be putting the solution into the mask. Okay, that's the solution you're going to use. Go ahead, take out. Oh. There we go. So, so far it's worked. I've had no problems. I can't taste anything. <coughs> so that time, because I shaved, it worked. The last thing that I did there, the hood was saturated with the solution. The mask was working fine. I wanted to... <coughs> Excuse me, I wanted to make sure that it was working properly as far as the solution and the nebulizer is concerned. So what I do is I take the mask off inside the hood and take a breath in. It worked really well. So I am still the same size that I was before. Now that's something I'd like to mention. These masks come in different sizes. And as I said before, one size does not fit all, which I'm going to try and prove or disprove in a few minutes. But people change. If you've been tested for an N95 mask, every year you need to be retested because people get older, people get wrinkled. In my case, I got younger and, and thinner. But anyways, uh, you need to be retested on a regular basis to make sure that these things actually still work. So the test that I just did was on a mask that is fitted. Uh, there's different sizes and this one here is one of the masks that's a, a one size fits all. Now this is a KN95 mask. They say it's one size fits all. The fibers are made of the same thing that an N95 mask would be made of, but the seal is what I'm concerned about. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show Laura how to put this on and then I'm going to make sure that she takes one. I'm not going to touch it because I have had solution on my hands and that way she's not going to get any taste from it. Take the hood off, take the hood off, take the hood off. <coughs> okay, there we go, we're going to put the hood on. Now, if this is successful, we're going to continue on with the test. The moment you can taste it, I want you to let me know and we'll stop the test. That means that the mask has failed. All right, I'm going to put some of this in. Every time I do, I'm going to give you a series of, of tasks. Just go ahead and do the tasks, as I tell you. Ooh. We're going to stop right now. Okay, it's failed. <laughs> okay, that was not good. That, uh, that took no time at all to fail. All right, so we're going to uh, uh, test the next person. <laughs> okay, Laura, I'm going to get you to step out. I am going to hear about this for ages. Um, this solution that I'm using is called Bitrex. It's a bitter solution. Just remember, I love you. <laughs> and when this is over, hopefully it will still be the same. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to test you for sensitivity. Keep your mouth open just a little bit. Let me know the minute you can taste it.
Okay, we're good. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. Um, I'm going to pay dearly for this. I know it. <laughs> oh my god, it tastes like a rubby, rotten, elastic thingy sock. <laughs> oh. Okay. Um, okay. Did I mention I love doing fit tests? <laughs> You may want to take your glasses off. <coughs> now you got these for work for medical? Oh. These these are considered medical and KN95 respirators. Okay, now <coughs> oh. That's not sealed. It, it's, it's, I mean, seriously. This metal thing here, it doesn't even go around your nose. It won't press. It, and then as I breathe, it just moves. Yeah. Okay, we're going to, okay, you've got it as, as sealed as I think you're going to be able to get. We're going to try this. If I had my glasses on, they'd fog up. Yes, they would. Um... Now this is the actual solution. This is the fit test solution. It's much stronger. After this, there will be a divorce, I'm sure. Let me know as soon as you can taste it. Okay. <laughs> okay. Take the mask off. It's holding the solution in. Oh. <coughs> You have to do that every year? That's horrid. Okay. And, wow. And you're transporting patients yes. with this for your PPE safety. Yes. Now, you... <laughs> yes. I'm going to get you to get even. You're going to put the solution in. So, and... Thank you. <laughs> Okay. okay, I can tell you right now, there, this is a very closed space, this is a small kitchen that we're doing this in, and I'm already tasting it, but the reason why I saved myself for last is because I know, uh, I, I know that when I go to do this test, I'm going to notice a difference if the mask is leaking. I'm going to really pinch it good because I'm hopeful. I don't know. That I'm metal is, it doesn't bend enough, I don't think. Uh, it does. The problem is that the elastics aren't holding it tight enough. So, okay. So it's this solution right here that you're going to use. Just start squirting it in. In the glass here? Yep. I, I want to make sure I get the right one. <laughs> the one that smells really wonderful. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. You got even. What we have there, it's not a scientific test by any stretch of the imagination, but we have three KN95 masks that have been tested. Uh, now these are called N90, KN95 respirators. I keep referring them to, as, as masks because in my opinion these are just masks, they're not respirators. But again, not scientific. Three people is not a uh, scientific test. It has failed three times. And you can see with the original mask that I used, I did uh, one with the beard, one without the beard. Uh, I'm still the same size mask I was, uh, I guess the last time I tested myself was about six months ago. <clears throat> so I'm still the same size. That mask worked well. This mask did not. But again, in a hospital situation, these are better than not having anything at all. These are actually better than the uh, surgical masks you see them wearing because it's a thicker material. It is a 95% a, a uh, um, 
it, it's going to hold out 95% of bacteria and viruses. Uh, that's the reason why it's called a, a KN95 mask. That's the amount that it's going to keep out. Hospitals need these. We do not. When you're going grocery shopping, you can make homemade masks, you can buy homemade masks, you can buy commercial masks designed for people going shopping. Just remember, they protect somebody else from you. They do not protect you from somebody else. Social distancing. Keep six feet apart. We're Canadians. Stay a hockey, six, hockey stick apart. That will work. So, if anybody is coughing near you, leave. Just go. Uh, you will be an awful lot better off using this and practicing those things rather than wearing a mask that you think is actually working for you and it's not. Keep your hands clean. If at all possible, stay at home. If you can't stay at home, make sure you keep a, a good distance between you and the next person. Social distancing is six feet. We're Canadians. Use that hockey stick. And if you feel comfortable using it, make sure you use a mask. Just remember, it's protecting them from you. Stay safe. Thanks for watching. Hi, my name's Benzie, and I'm the reason for all the clicking on the floors. Unfortunately, I haven't been able to get my nails done lately. So, please, stay safe and stay home.